How are we doing, guys? Welcome to the Arsenal 6, West Brom 0, full-time fan cam. First game in a while where we can smile and relax and enjoy the game. <sighs> I quite enjoyed that. I quite enjoyed that, honestly. I went to the, as you saw, went to the Arsenal game before at the weekend and it was very miserable. And it was nice today to relax after the a shaky first 10, 15 minutes until we scored. You could tell there's a lot of nerves in the, within the team and that that game will do a lot of good for our players' confidence. Um, you saw even by the end of the game that Aubameyang's third goal, that type of finish is what he was trying at his most confident against uh, Liverpool in the um, Community Shield last season. He scored a great goal and he did it first game in last season, was it against um, Fulham? And we've not really we've not seen that Aubameyang, and after his first two goals today, he isolated that defender, and felt he had the confidence to take the shot on. And he knows he's got that finish on wraps, but um, today because he had the confidence, he took the shot on, and that's the Aubameyang we're going to need this season. And if we can get that Aubameyang this season, he's going to be invaluable to us, absolutely invaluable. So, I'm very happy with the way the game went. We won't jump to many conclusions because it was a very very poor uh, West Brom side they were incredibly inexperienced and um, they played right into our hands playing an incredibly high line against a very a very um, fast attack from us but no, I, I thought there are plenty of positives to take from the game and there's no no point in being cynical about it we won 6-0 away from home what's there to complain about um, to break it down I thought Saka was really, really impressive. Um, he's just coming back to fitness now. And um, he was actually, he's still the same player. It's easy to forget that he's still only 19, 20 years old. And he's just as young as some of these West Brom players. But he just looks years ahead and is genuinely one of our best footballers. Um, and again, a player who, it wouldn't be surprising if his confidence has been knocked after what happened this summer. But um, straight into the game, he got into his stride and he looked good again. Um, Erdegaard, I think Erdegaard won't necessarily get the credit he deserved for this game because he didn't get many goals and assists. But the way he drops deeper and links the midfield and attack is, is so, so important to us. And I don't think Smithrow quite offers the same in that sense. Smithrow isn't the type of player who will thread balls through gaps. He's the type of player who will drive a team forward. But I think Erdegaard and Smith Rowe, I think they should be playing in the same team. I think our strongest front four is Aubameyang up front with um, Smith Rowe coming in from the left, uh, just as Grealish did for Aston Villa previously. I think that's actually Smith Rowe's strongest position right now. Um, Erdegaard in number 10, um, keeping the game ticking and uh, creating chances. He's our primary chance creator. And then Saka right wing, I think that's our strongest front four. I thought Pepe had a decent game again today. Um, he, um, I think he was quite unlucky to hit the crossbar that one time. But an, a goal and, assist, goal and an assist for him again today, which again is good for his confidence. Lacazette came off the bench and scored within a few minutes. Um, I thought even Kolasinac today, I thought even Kolasinac played quite well. And... Um, Last but lot neat last but not least, Aaron Ramsdale. I was really really impressed with. He came into the team with after facing abuse from Arsenal fans just for joining just for joining the club, and um, he played with a lot of confidence. The some of his line breaking passes. What I really appreciate with him is when he receives the ball, he's happy to he's happy to push forward, which creates it means someone has to press onto him. And then you're creating an imbalance. So West, if if you can bypass that first man, it's then eleven against ten. Um, and I thought there was a notable difference. It's obviously West West Brom under twenty threes, but it's a notable difference when Ramsdale has the ball. He's more confident and it takes the pressure off the defenders. Whereas Leno, who will take the ball on the back foot, pass it to a defender where they don't want it. But Ramsdale looked very confident today and even pulled off some really good saves actually. Um, but it's it's too early to it's too early to say he should be starting. I don't want to jump to any conclusions. 
but I was I was really happy with the way he played and I really do want him to succeed um, because I do think he has the mentality um, to con to succeed and um, I think he has the attributes I think I think he can fulfill his potential they, there's a lot there's a lot of work that needs to be done but I do think um, that there is there is a player in there and I think we need to trust that um, and back him um, in terms of in terms of weaknesses today I really can't think of much um, I guess fan, fans need to not get ahead of themselves because it was an um, incredibly inexperienced West Ham team, uh, West Brom team, sorry. Um, but that being said, enjoy it, enjoy a win because we're not, we don't, we haven't been getting many recently. We haven't been scoring many recently. We scored six goals. That will be a nice goal of the season, uh, goal of the month compilation. Sorry, because until then, if we didn't score against City, we could have gone the whole of um, August without having a goal. So that would have been embarrassing. But yeah, uh, very happy with how the game went today. Um, you have to. You, we we played a strong team, and I'm glad we did because we did need the confidence. And if we had a shake, even if we won today with a shaky one nil win, there'd have been a lot of pressure on the team. But um, the way that went, I thought um, was excellent. And hopefully, we can take some of that confidence into the Man City game and play with no fear. And who knows what will happen? Who knows? But we just got to give it a go, and. If it doesn't move on to the next game, because the expectations against Man City shouldn't be to get a win. We are so far off them as a club. Their start, their um, backup eleven is arguably stronger than our starting eleven. So we do what we can. We need to learn from the Chelsea game and play a play a more pragmatic system, considering the way they're playing and not try and force ourselves upon them. I think we do need to go three at the back. And um, yeah, Ben White's still out for that game, but it's good to see Aubameyang and Lacazette back. And um, the, yeah, the increased competition in attack is very healthy and it'll bring the best out of them. So we'll see what happens against City. That's the big one. And that's all I have to say. On to the next one. 6-0. Enjoyed that.